Hello everyone, I Shurajit welcome you all on Econometrics Day channel. Today we are going to study class 7 Mathematics and today we are going to continue with chapter 1 Integers and we will continue solving exercise 1.4. In our previous class, we solved 1.4 till question number 2. Now today we are going to solve question number 3 and today's part is part 12. So, bina wat gawai shuru karte hain aaj ka class. This could be us. So back to what I was saying. This could be us. Now we are going to solve question number 3. 3 is very simple one. Fill in the blanks to make the following statements true. So you have to fill up the blanks so that the statement is correct. Okay. So first one minus 3 into what will be 36. So if you see if you want to do one rough. So minus 3 if it transfers to that side. So what it will become it will become divided by because this into this. So this one is multiplied with this and it is becoming 36. So multiplication when it goes that side it becomes division. So 36 if you divide by minus 3 then 3 ones are 3, 3 ones are 3, 3 twos are 6. So what you are getting minus 12. So if you multiply with minus 12 because 12 threes are 36 only. Okay. So orally also you can do. So minus into minus plus and 3 into 12, 36. Okay. Now second one. Second one is 15 into dash equal to 0. So this is the property of 0. Okay. So what 15 into it will be 0 only. So equal to 0. Then the next one is dash into minus 7 equal to minus 7. So this is the what this is which property na identity property okay so if you multiply 1 into minus 7 then it will be minus 7 only now this one 156 divided by minus 12 so this one you can do rough if you want if you don't want to do rough then also it is okay so 156 divided by minus 12 will be what minus 13 so with minus 12. So, see here 12 ones are 12, 12 ones are 12, 3 left, 12 3 is a 36. So, what do you get? Minus 13. So, the answer will be minus 13. Clear? Then again you see minus 75 divided by what? Will be minus 1. So, you have to make it minus 1. So, you will divide with what number? Then it will be uh, same thing. Uh, minus 1. So that means you have to divide it by 75. See minus 75 if you divide by 75 then it is coming what minus 1. Clear. Don't take here. Here students will do some mistakes also. They will think that I have to bring minus 1. So let me divide it by minus 75. Mm -hmm. The answer is minus 1. So you have to bring the sign minus also. So you cannot cancel this minus. Okay. So that's why when you are dividing uh, minus 75 divided by 75 only, then only 75, 75 will cut, but minus will not cut because the answer is minus 1. This point you must remember, okay, by means hurriedly you cannot do, okay, with hurry buddy you cannot do like write minus 75, then it will be wrong. Then the minus 75 divided by minus 75, the answer will be 1. But here the answer is what? Minus 1. This thing you have to be very much uh, careful. Okay. Now next one. What divided by minus 245 equal to 0. So this is what if you divide the property. Okay. Divide anything. Okay. By if you divide 0 divided by any number then the answer will be 0 only. So that's why in the division. Uh, properties of division I taught you. So, div 0 divided by any number whether positive or negative. So, the answer will be 0 and this one is what when any number is divided by 0 then it will come what not defined clear. So, I think question number 3 
all a to g you have understood now we will move on to the next sum now question number four let us see what they are telling us verify the associative property of multiplication of integers for the following values okay you have to do verification and you have to use what which property the associative property of multiplication that means you have to verify the associative property of multiplication and the first sum the values of x y z are given x value is minus 2 y is 3 and z is minus 4 and this is the sum x into y into z equal to x into y into z so the answer starts from here only okay by writing when you are starting the answer you have to write the values and then what you have to prove that also you have to write after that that means these two lines you have to write for the answer okay so answer starts from here only so we will write now lhs and we will write x into y into z now we will put the values x value is what minus 2 into y value is what 3 into z value is what minus 4 so let us put like this bracket now minus 2 into now if you multiply minus 12 now minus into minus plus and 2 into 12 24 so you got the LHS portion now RHS RHS first we will write x into y and then into z so x value is what minus 2 into y value is what 3 and then we will put a bracket then z value is what minus 4 now minus 2 into 3 minus 6 into minus 4 so what you get 24 so what we can write therefore lhs equal to rhs hence verified okay i think you have understood how to do the verification verifying the associative property of multiplication now students those who are new to my channel i would like to request you all that if you like this video if you like my channel then please give a like share this video with your friends and classmates and don't forget to subscribe my channel because when you subscribe it really motivates me to make more such interesting videos for you all and don't forget to press the all notification bell ting ting so that whenever i upload such videos you will get the notifications first now we will move on to the next sum that is question number 4 b now let us see what they are telling here x value is been changed y value is been changed and z value is been changed and the next part is same only okay the associative property only the values are changed x equal to minus 5 y is equal to minus 12 and z equal to 8 so same way we will solve first we will write this step then this step and then lhs okay x into y into z and we will put the values so minus 5 into y value is what minus 12 into z is what 8 and we will put a bracket close it now minus 5 clear into now minus into plus minus now 12 into 8 96 those who cannot do you can do 8 to the 16 1 carry 8 1 the 8 plus 1 9 96 now we will put here bracket then minus into minus plus and then 5 into 96 so what it comes 480 if you cannot do you can do a rough 96 into 5 5 6 the 33 5 9 the 45 48 clear previous one 12 into 8 if you cannot do you can do 12 into 8 8 to the 16 1 8 on the 8 9 96 like this way rough work you can do okay if you cannot do orally now we will do the rhs part and in the rhs part if i get 480 it will be verified so we will write x into y into z now x is how much minus 5 into y is how much minus 12 
and we will keep this one in bracket into z is how much 8 now see minus into minus plus 5 into 12 how much comes 60 into 8 so 60 into 8 480 again i told you if you cannot do directly you can do rough 60 into 8 8 0 0 8 6 0 48 so we got lhs equal to rhs hence verified so i think all the sums that is from exercise 1.4 question number two, 3 and 4 you have understood nicely and i will tell all my students of class 7 to practice this sum again and again video acha lage to like share or subscribe karna mat bhuliyega मिलते हैं और एक अच्छे नए कंटेंट के साथ तब तक के लिए बाय बाय